right here behind me, right in that little space right here, used to be a range hood. Now, the problem with that is that this range hood is, was 110 volts, but it didn't take any amps to run it. What we're going to do is install a microwave right there, so we're going to have to run a new power source to it. That's where the problem is. The voltage that that hood had is not enough amperage to be able to handle the microwave. It's that circuit that you see right here is tied into the lights and probably some of the outlets. That's not going to work. So what we got to do is run a new circuit from the breaker panel right there. You can see it right there. We're going to have to go up the wall and excuse me for not looking at you because I'm trying to figure out how to point. <laughs> So we got to go from the top of this breaker panel right there, up the ceiling, and then across, and I'll turn around to show you. This is going to be where the breaker panel is. So we'll have to go up the breaker panel, across the ceiling right here, over to that cabinet, and then down that wall to right where that hood is at right there. So I'm going to take you through all the steps that I'm going to do to make that happen. It's not going to be an easy process because I've actually got to cut that drywall up there so that I can get a wire up there. There's a two by four plate across the ceiling that I'm going to have to drill through so that I can run my wire up there. And then once I do that, there's a cavity between the upstairs apartment and this apartment. I'll be able to run a power line across the ceiling. And then I'll have to do, I may have to cut a hole in that ceiling up there somewhere so that I can fish that line without having any difficulties. So I'll have to fish that line across the ceiling to this point in the ceiling. I'll have to cut a little hole in the ceiling here and then cut this wall so that, and then I'm going to have to drill the 2x4 that's, well, actually behind the wall. And so that way I can drop my power cord down. And I'm going to install a box inside of this cabinet, run that power line in that box. So that way when we do install the microwave, there'll be a hole that goes underneath the cabinet where the power cord comes through and it'll plug into that. Sounds pretty easy, but I assure you it's not, but it can be done. And I'm gonna take you through the steps to do it. So, let's get started. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check this next video out. And if you would, hit that little round icon up there with my cute little face in it. That way you can subscribe to the channel and you'll be sure not to miss a thing. And as always, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.